is definitely one. Oh, that was another one. Jeebus. Oh, and again. Whoa. Picked it up off the bottom, that one. This has got to be a carp, doesn't it? No, another yellow. What? What? G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We are currently on the Lower Murray River. The flows are still up quite a bit but we're out chasing golden perch and we're going to jig some snags with blades which has just been a very effective technique. Got a very awesome snag right there. So let's tie up and see if we can jig a few yellows up. Alright, we are all tied up. We've got two spin sticks rigged up, they're both seven foot, three to six kilo, um, 3,000 size reel, 10 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. The weapon of choice is a little quarter ounce TT switchblade. Um, it's been absolutely dynamite. And what we're going to do, because the water's still ripping, just trying to pick any spots that are out of the current. It seems to be where the fish are holding. And what we're going to do, we'll work through this snag. I've got a couple other snags in mine. We'll just keep going until we find one where the fish are holding on. Jigging super simple. Very important to fish up and down. Don't cast, because if you cast, you get snagged. And you just want to do short, sharp lifts. Like I'd say, most of the fish are going to be hanging within sort of the bottom meter of water. There we go, right there. Oh, we got a carp. Would you believe it? But not uncommon on the blades to catch the carps. Wait, oh, damn it. Um, so we've got to start just the wrong species. That's all. Drop it back down and we'll see if we can get a yellow. There we go. Oh, what have we got this time? Should be another carp. No, a yellow. Well, that is very cool. Oh, it came off again. Do I even have hooks on this lure? I bet you if I grabbed it, they're all sticky sharp. But if I grabbed it that hard, uh, it would go in deep. Oh, well, carp, then a yellow. Hopefully the next one we can actually get it in the boat. All right, just the one yellow, couple of carp. But we're off to a start and uh, We'll go and find another log and keep on jigging. really trying to get away from the current so any snag you can find that's got a quite a bit to it and it's got the calm pocket with the current ripping past the tips seems to be where they like to hang out oh there we go oh what have we got hopefully not another carp don't you snag me up oh yeah straight up Wait. now is he going to fall off? Now, 
you think I would have remembered to bring a net, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, chunky golden. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, don't pin me. Chunky golden on the blade. Super cool. All right, got any mates down there? when I really want a net. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is a chunk of a yellow. It's a little bit shady on this snag, but check out the size of that one. That is awesome. Just smash the blade. All right. Could possibly be another one down there. It's really those nice positive lifts, get the blade working, and then just follow that line back down again, like that. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's really big, whatever that is. It's probably a big carp. Oh, another yellow. Nice. Oh. He's a chunky one, he's angry as. Oh, check him out. Beautiful fish. Stunning yellow. All right. You can tell <laughs> when they got their gills all flared up like that. You can tell they're really grumpy. I know you're grumpy. Hey, hey, hey. I was going to put you back. You broke my treble. <laughs> Such a good fish. Fought so well. Yeah. Been trying a few different size blades, but definitely the quarter ounce seems to be the guy. Just gonna pop a new hook on there. Holy cow, did that nail that. Oh, get out of there. Oh, that's a tank of a yellow. Look at the size of that one. That is huge, and he's woofed it right down. Oh, what a chunk. Man, that is huge. Don't you. Let's hook around. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Up you come. Up you come. How good would a net be? Just get a grab on you. Come on, he's so big. I can't even get. Oh, what a horse. What an absolute horse. You reckon he wanted that blade? It is just down there. Woohoo! That is so good. Just popped into the sun to give you a look at this absolute whopper. Whopper on the jig. So cool. We'll get that blade out of down there and put him back. Got him. Got him. Nice. 
just moved to a fresh log. A few jiggity jigs. We got ourselves a beautiful yard. Oi! Such a terrible way to hold them. <laughs> so, let's, give us, let's give us a look and I'll put you back. Yeah, oi. Jeez, he's a flippy one. Alright. Yonk. Get another one. Oh, it feels really good, this one. Feels really big. Oh, I just hooked him in the bottom of the chin. <laughs> Come here. Another nice one, though. Slightly different colour. I like how all the yellows in the river are slightly different colours. Hey, yeah, I know you're really grumpy. If we can just. Get a quick look at ya. So that one's quite dark, that one. Hooked him right on the bottom of the chin. I'm sure they're just racing up and down looking at it. And you do the lift and, you know, sort of on top of it and then just hook him in a weird spot. Cute. Beautiful. Keep going. Must be a little pocket of them here. It's all about those calm sides of the snags with the flow. Just get out of the flow and that's where the fish seem to be. Oh, straight away got smashed again. Come on. He absolutely belted it. They are such a fun fish to catch on spin gear. You gonna eat it again or what? Yep, he is. Jeez, that feels good. Oh, don't you dare go in that snag. Wow, he's fighting good, this one. Oh, look at that. That's a chunk. Woo-hoo-hoo. That's a really nice one. He's so fat. Yeah. It's just that vibration gets him so excited. Such a nice fish. All right, dude. Out, thank you very much. And you can go back in. Beautiful fish. Nice. Got him that time. That's gotta be a big carp. No, big yellow. What? What? <laughs> Felt and tapping. That's a whopper. That is a whopper. Another absolutely awesome yellow. That blade pinned underneath him there. They're just stacked up in there. They really are. Thank you.
There's another one. Pretty sure it's another one. Yep, not the biggest yellow. Probably the smallest of the bunch. Whoa, 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 don't spin. It's cool to see some smaller size yellows in the system. Just hooked by one hook. It's definitely a school of fish sitting on the backside of this snag. There's no doubt about that. And just it's so important when you're jigging just to use a light touch you can work your way down into the timber and then if you do happen to get snagged you can just jiggle it around or give it a flick and usually it comes off but yeah you've got to use a light touch because you're fishing in, in such gnarly territory could be another one down there Maybe. There's just a dynamite way of keeping your lure right in that zone. Ooh, was that one? Oh, it was. It picked it up on the drop and I didn't even strike. It's funny, sometimes they don't just belt it. They sort of, it must be as they pick it up as it's sinking and you pull up and it's just sort of tight. You don't actually feel a bite. It's definitely one. Oh, that was another one. Jeebus. Oh, and again. Whoa. Picked it up off the bottom, that one. This has got to be a carp, doesn't it? No, another yellow. What? What? <laughs> you hook them in the side like that. And you can't quite tell what they're doing. He's only just hooked. So cool. Actually missing his dorsal fin, that one. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, that was awesome. Such a fun session. It's nice to see the river in such good condition. If I had to choose one lure to use for that style of fishing, it's definitely that quarter ounce TT switchblade. Gets it done. So much fun. I'll catch you next time.